field next to the roman field again today and um, this is going to be a two-part video the first part i've already done um i did like three hours on when was it sunday i was i was going to do more but then i had a message from um the lady who runs the estate up here um asking me if i could help find someone's wedding ring in the allotments down the road so i went and did that found that eyes only in the car park but um yeah so i got cut short on that hunt a little bit so i'm going to do another three hours today I'll make it into one whole video. Um, yeah, so yeah, the first part, I found a decent little part of this field finally. Got a few nice little bits, so you'll see that in a minute. Yeah, so the second part, I'm going to go back to that same spot and see what else I can find there. So um, yeah, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the first good target. See you in a bit. There's the first good target, guys. Just a little harness ring. Got excited for a second, thought it was some sort of ring, but it's just a harness ring, so... Alright, see you on the next one. Alright guys, just got the next one in this clod here. It's got green colour to it, could be a button or a coin. Let's have a little look. Oh, what's that? Oh my god, is that a bloody... Is that a Roman? Oh, you little... I was trying not to think about Romans today, and that looks like a bloody Roman. This is miles away from where I normally find the Romans as well. This is right the other side of the field. That could well be Roman. Is it Roman or is that Celtic? I'm not sure now. I don't know, but that's just giving me some hope that there's some old stuff at this end of the field now. So I'm going to work this end... I've only been here for like 20 minutes, so that's a good start. Yeah, that could well be Roman. I would say Roman or Celtic. That looks... I think there's a head there, so it's probably Roman. Yeah, I think that is. Cool. Okay, right. Well, after me saying I'm not going to think about Romans, that's all I'm going to think about now, so I'll see you on the next one. I just had this one, guys. Um, not really sure what it is. I think it might be part of a cap badge or something. There's some sort of decoration on there or something yeah maybe a cat badge something like that not very old all right see you on the next one here's the next one guys a little buckle still sort of going around the same area where i found that roman coin just seems to any more around but yeah it's a nice little buckle all right see you on the next one <coughs> there you go guys there's a good sign i'm hopefully on the right spot another oyster shell i found one of these when i was here the first time it's normally quite a good sign so hopefully yeah I'm in the right area I know I wasn't supposed to be thinking about Roman today but when this sort of stuff starts happening you can't help it so all right let's see what pops up see you on it I right, got some interesting bits of pottery coming up as well now it's got some nice detail on there might have some age to it I don't know if that's is that considered greyware I'm not sure to be honest but yeah it's got some nice markings on there there's lots of like bits like that <coughs> So I've got a bit of a cold today. Um, yeah, you've got a lot of bits of brick, a tile hanging around. So yeah, hopefully, we'll have to find something decent around here. Looking like there's some activity. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Right, it's going to be one of those days, I think, where things keep happening that I don't expect to happen. Now that there, I thought it was a piece of rubbish at first, but I'm pretty sure that's a little hammered coin. I've just been curled up. I don't know if there's any detail on it, but that looks very much like a hammer coin to me. I might have to, well, when I get home, I'll try and see if I can unfold it without breaking it, but um, yeah, I reckon that might might well be a hammered coin, guys. That's pretty cool. I weren't expecting that. I weren't expecting Roman. I weren't expecting a hammered. I've got both. All right, let's see what else this day brings up. See you on the next one. Right, guys, try and do a live one. 
you have to excuse any wind noise. I have got my back to the wind, but it's quite windy still. Let's see what this one is. This is not far away from where I just had that hammered. And it's a better signal than that hammered was, so it was a really scratchy one, that one. Let's see, it might be on the edge. Right guys, I think we've got another coin in there. Oh, is it a button? I oh, don't know, it might be some sort of brooch actually. Yeah, what's that? Okay, that's different. That's some sort of badge, I think. It's quite modern. Um, yeah, it's got some writing around the edge, but I can't see what it says to us. Work out what it says. What the hell is that picture as well? Is it? it doesn't actually look like anything. What the hell is that? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Some sort of badge. Would have had a pin on the back there. Yeah, I can't. Can't work out what it says. If I work it out, I'll put it on after this. All right. So There's the next one guys, I'm not sure what it is, it's a broken fragment or something I think, very pointy, quite heavy, I'm not sure if it's bronze or something else, computer, I don't know, but yeah, uh, I don't know, might be part of a pot or something, cool, alright, see you on next. Alright guys, I thought I'd found a Roman spot, but it turns out, I might have actually found a medieval spot. <laughs> I think that's another little hammered. Yep. There you go. Get in. Definitely wasn't expecting hammers today. Wow. Right, okay, yeah. That is definitely a hammered. Is that short cross or long cross? I can't actually tell. It's long cross, isn't it? Just trying to see the head. This soil's very sticky. Um, yeah, I don't know, I can't tell actually. Right, one second, I'll try and clean it up. Alright, I think I can just about make out Edward on there. I think it's an Edward. I'm not sure which one, but I think that's what I can see. E D W down that side there, I think. Not much on that side to be honest. Um, what's that? I think you can see. I think it's London Mint. I'm not sure. It might not be actually. It might be something else. I don't know. I'll have a look when I get home. But that's cool. Nice second little hammered. Had one Roman, two hammers. This field's starting to pay off now. I think the rain's helped. The signals are starting to pop out. That's good, so I'll be able to show the farmer, let him know what sort of history he's had on there. Cool, right, I'll see you on the next one. Alright, just got the next one out, guys. Down there somewhere. I might be in this clod actually. Yep. Um, what's that? 
No, I think it's that. Might just be a little bit of lead or something. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit of crap. Nothing interesting. Oh well, on to the next. There's the next one, guys. Little bag seal. Can't really tell much on it, really, to be honest. Not much detail on there. Yeah, cool. Little bag seal. See you all next. All right, next one's in here somewhere. Ah, there it is. And it's a coin. It's like a modern one. I don't look very old, anyway, I don't think. Um, I'm not sure, it might be Victorian or something. Yeah, it's pretty modern though, guys, and toasted. All right, see you on the next one. Right, there's the next one, guys. It's a big horse brass by the looks of it. Probably would have been a bit of detail on there, but it's all gone now. Yep, cool. All right, see you on the next. Right, here we are on part two, guys. Um, first part, well, first target of the second day, sorry. I don't know what it is, looks like it might be, I don't know, it's got a, like a hinge bit there. But I think there's some writing on that side. But there's been a lot of rain the last couple of days, so it's really sticky mud out here. That clay's just gone really sticky and horrible, so it's quite hard to clean it up out here. If I clean it up at home and get anything on it, I'll let you know. I'll put some pictures up. Alright, I'll see you on the next one. Oh, there's the next one guys. Um looks like it might have been some sort of some sort of brooch or something. It's got like two little clips on the back there, maybe a pin would have gone through. But nothing left on it, whatever it was. No. Oh well, on to the next. Right, just got this one out the hole. It didn't sound that good when it was in the hole, so I thought I'd film it now, it sounds nice. It's in there somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's just that little piece of bloody rubbish. Oh well, on to the next. And the next one is a shotgun cartridge. Yay! Um, literally been probably about 45 minutes, nearly an hour now since the last signal. Just been bits of lead and just random bits of crap I didn't bother filming. Yeah, let's hope we can find a good spot again. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, just add this one up, guys. Um, could be like a cat badge, I think, maybe. Something like that. It looks like it's got writing going around the edge. Can't make out what it says at the moment, but... I don't know, it could be a cat badge. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with cat badge for now. But if it's anything different, I'll let you know. Alright, see you in the next. Alright, guys, just had this one. Haven't looked at it yet. Could be a button be a coin and I think it's a button yep button oh well. I had quite a few buttons I haven't even bothered filming them to be honest with loads oh well, on to the next next one it was on the surface but I didn't bother filming it because it looked like it was going to be a button I'm not sure actually I reckon that could be a little Roman I don't think there's any detail on there but oh there's something on that oh actually wait a minute yeah I think it is a button actually yeah, got the little bit for the shank. Oh well, it's close. Alright, it's the only next. Yep, it's one of them days. <laughs> Ring pull. Uh, on to the next. Alright, my first coin of the day, finally. I don't think it's a very old one though. What's that? It's Britannia. Penny. Um, I don't know if I'm going to see who it is. So. Victoria? Yeah, I think it's Victoria. Is it? Or is it George? No, I think it's George actually. Oh, I can't tell now. Um, I'm not sure. I think it might be Victoria. He might be able to see it better through the camera than I can. I don't know. It's a penny of some sort anyway. Alright, see you on the next one, guys. It's another little bit. Like I had a few weeks ago, um, I think it's part of a buckle or something. Not too sure. It looks very similar to one I had a few weeks ago. A little hole going through it as well. Yeah, I don't know. Right, see you on the next. If I do, I'm walking back towards the car now, so 
it's in a bit. All right, guys, this one sounds like it's pretty sort of close to the surface. Let's see if I can get it live. <clears throat> sounds a bit too clean, though. Might be a bit of lead. Yeah, I thought so. Yep, looks like a little bit of lead. A strange sort of shape to it, but uh, nothing special. All right, see you on the next. All right, guys, there you go. Um, yeah, the second half weren't as good as the first half, was it? I didn't find any more coins. Well, I found that one possibly Victorian penny. But yeah, I couldn't find any more Roman or Hammonds. So, I don't know. I might try that patch again. I've got a week left now, so there's a few little bits I haven't done. So I might do that first. But um, I could probably get on here like two more times, I reckon. So yeah, hopefully I'll find something on the next one. But yeah, I've got Hammond, Roman, or two Hammonds, I think. I'm not really sure about that one that's all folded up, but definitely one Hammond. That one it is, is um, Edward IV, Penny, I think it's Durham Mint, I think. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, please like and subscribe. Later.